Currently staffed and bustling with a steady stream of customers all under the shadow of a C grade that diners likely couldn't see. And so in tonight's Dirty Dining, 13 Chief Investigator Darcy Spears explains why customers at a really popular teppanyaki house might be in the dark. Customers at Volcano Grill on Durango and Arby are stopped at the door to place and pick up orders. No dining in allowed at the self-described Japanese protein house, but keeping customers out might also keep them from noticing the restaurant's C grade, posted high on the back wall after Volcano Grill got 38 demerits on its July 1st inspection. We want to find out kind of what went on, what your side of the story is. Lots of little violations, but a big number of demerits. Whoever's in charge. While she goes to find someone, we'll tell you what inspectors found that left Volcano Grill just three demerits short of being shut down. Raw chicken meat juice was leaking onto boxes of produce, which had to be thrown out due to contamination. Cooked rice contaminated by dripping condensation also had to be thrown out. There were multiple hand washing violations, dirty cutting boards, and utensils in dirty standing water. Volcano Grill was also cited for having their front door propped open, which we found them still doing. One of the issues the health district had with this being propped open is that bugs could just walk right in, any, any kind of pests, flies, roaches, mice, rats, whatever. When the doors open, it's easy access. And when it's 112 degrees outside, it's hard to keep things inside properly cool. On inspection day, broccoli, cabbage, macaroni salad, lettuce, tofu, scrambled eggs, and fried rice all had to be thrown out. Two pieces of equipment were red tagged because they couldn't maintain proper temperatures. After we wait in the heat, we're told the general manager isn't there, but we're given a number to call him. You just weren't doing the things that you were supposed to do and that you expect your staff to do. General Manager Sean Farina didn't want to go on camera, but agreed to address Volcano Grill's issues over the phone. You don't disagree with the violations. It was just kind of a wake up call for you to do some retraining of your staff and shore things up in the kitchen. Basic things like a violation for not having sanitizer buckets set up when the inspector arrived and improperly thawing noodles and shrimp. Farina says he owns his staff's mistakes, isn't making excuses, and that everyone at Volcano Grill simply has to do better. You're better than the C that's on the wall, but you have to prove that and you plan on proving that to the health inspector and to your customers. We asked about the front door and he said they've ordered new French doors and are awaiting a fix. They plan to allow customers inside to order takeout as of next week, but are still not doing dine-in. And I want to thank you for saying that you uh, appreciate dirty dining and that you watch it and that you understand the you don't mind being held accountable. Subway sandwich shop on Paradise and Wigwam was shut down June 30th for failing reinspection from a previous C downgrade. It failed with 22 demerits after inspectors found reheated meatballs, Swiss cheese, tuna salad, sliced tomato and sliced salami at unsafe temperatures. All of it had to be thrown out. The ice machine in the Coca-Cola dispenser had excessive pink and brown mold. A scoop handle was touching ready to eat tuna salad and they were using dirty tongs to grab cookies. Silicon mats for bread and clean storage were dirty with old food, and the C-grade card was not visible to the public because it was hidden behind their business license. We were unable to reach anyone at the subway location for comment. It was reinspected July 1st and got a six-demerit A-grade. Darcy Spears, 13 Investigates.